guys, it's John here again. Right, this video is uh, a thread I'd like to do. Stop. Uh, it's a bit similar to the one that's been going around uh, about the three step ups and the three drop offs. Um, this is five bands or yeah, ever, any genre that have um, uh, improved or got more popular with um, a new singer and um, yeah I'm gonna start off with this and um, not that I really like this singer much but um, the popularity of the band went through the roof and that was uh, when Ian Gillen joined Deep Purple and uh, yeah that um, was uh, after um, what was his name now? There was Nick Simpler and Nary, um, and I forgot the other guy who was in that before. I should know, but I don't. I don't own. No, I do have shades of Deep Purple, but yeah, um, Ian Gillen. Obviously, I'm a David Coverdale fan, so but Ian Gillen did propel them that way. Um, next band. I thought I'd go down a, a different route with this one and this one is because they had uh, this guy on the first album which they only did one album with this guy um, and then they changed and they got in um, Kevin Cronin um, it was like sort of folky and then add that with uh, um, oh what's his face now um, Gary Richrath, um, with his guitar work and that completely made it sound so much better. And um, that would be Aria Speedwagon. And um, yeah, when Kevin Cronin came in, they did, was it one album with him? And then he got replaced or he left and then got replaced. I think that's how the story is. And then they tried out for, with somebody else, not for very long, and then got Kevin to come back. So it was really weird how that worked out, but yeah. Um, and then they had huge success with uh, a lot of their songs, so in the uh, late 70s, early and uh, in the 80s. Um, then, the next band is... Um, Pink Floyd when uh, they brought in Dave Gilmore and uh, there he is there um, and obviously from Sid Barrett to David Gilmore is like you know that awesome guitarist and uh, um, great singer as well um, totally skyrocketed them up that way so um, We've got two two bands left to do. Uh, we're going to go with when Bruce Dickinson came into Iron Maiden, and yes, popularity of the band shot up big time. And uh, yeah, my favourite of theirs. Uh, and the last out uh, band is. Um, if you've heard of a, a singer called Al Atkins, you'll know what band I'm talking about next. He didn't make any albums with uh, the, the next band, but he was their first singer. And the second singer was in from Judas Priest, and that's uh, Rob Halford. And uh, yeah, and uh, was screaming um, for them for years and years, and uh, and obviously left and done his solo projects and uh, in 2000, 2001 time and came back so was it 2001? Oh no it was a bit later than that wasn't it? It was about 2004 when the um, Thingy album came out um, Do you know what? It's skipped my head uh, Angel of Retribution. Uh, so yeah, that's my um, 
five bands where they replaced the singer or got in a new singer and they shut up and I'm going to do one where I feel the bands went downhill after uh, so I'll do my top five on that as well so that should give you uh, plenty of other bands to do um, if you want to carry on this thread so cheers see you later